Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little like different kind of fun one I guess you could say. I don't know. Um, it's not uh, makeup or festival related. It's kind of just me talking to you guys. So this, let me just say what it is. <laughs> So today's video, I am going to show you guys my crystal collection. Um, I do have quite a bit of crystals just like around my house. <laughs> and then I do also have a few that are like made in macrame as well. So I'm going to share that with you guys here. But I will say I don't know what all of these are. And I'm not like 100% accurate that like everyone that I'm going to say actually is the name of the stone that I think it is. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys like a general idea of what I think is the closest to the name of this crystal. If you guys know and you guys are like well aware of what the names of these are, please leave me a comment down below because I would love to know what the names of all of these are. Um, I also won't really get into much of like what each one of them is like, what energy they're like supposed to help bring you because I don't, I can't memorize all of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've also had a lot of these crystals for like well over a year now. So yeah, I just like, I don't, I don't have every, all of that information. Um, a few of them I will have to like insert a picture for because like this one, for example, you can kind of see it behind me. But that one, for example, it's like tied into the thing and I don't want to try and like take it out just to show you guys up close. Um, but you'll, I have a few that aren't like tied to anything. So you'll get the general idea of like what those look like. But I'll insert some pictures of the ones that are elsewhere in my house that I can't bring to you in this video. But yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to start showing you guys. This is probably going to be a slightly longer video um, just because I do have quite a bit of crystals. But I'm going to try to get through them really quick quickly so let's go ahead if you guys are interested in seeing what my crystal collection is at home then keep on watching this video all right, all right. so let's get into my crystal collection um, I don't, where should I start I don't even know where to start let me start with the ones that I like really like so I have the kind of the first crystals that I got. I don't know. I have like a few that are probably like older than like the first crystals that I bought. Ones that I bought like where I was really like searching for like ones that like was what I needed at the time. I don't know. I feel like crystals can help you like clear blockages and just like, you know, clear out your your the bad vibes man like bring in the good vibes clear out the bad vibes you know you know the vibe wait you know the fucking vibes anyways i the first ones that i kind of like went and searched for to like get them like kind of custom i found somebody her name is macrame minerals i'll insert her like instagram here but her name is macrame minerals on instagram i believe it's also her etsy name i'll also put that in here and leave links down below for you guys but she's one of the first people that I like found where she does these really really beautiful like macrame hanging crystals um, and at the time when I had bought these from her she kind of would like post like a bunch of the crystals that she had available and then you could choose with her what you wanted to put together in one or she can help you put together one like if you say that you want one that'll help with like love or um, money or like stuff like that like she could kind of help you like put together uh, an assortment of crystals for you and you can get them in different lengths so one of our like longest ones is gonna be that one that's like behind me and then this one's another one and then this is more like a shorter one and then I have another one that I can't get off but it's even smaller it's probably like this much of this one um, and I just like fell in love like these are absolutely gorgeous to like hang around your house or like I usually have them you guys have probably seen in some of my older like initial videos from YouTube they're like hanging in with all a lot of our plants around the house so I freaking love these they are not only beautiful to look at like I honestly feel like they I don't know they 
bring good vibes into the house like especially when I first got these like I felt like it like helped like immediately like just like clearing out all the negative energy you know I don't know I'm getting all witchy on you guys but anyway so these are two of the ones I absolutely loved working with her I have literally repurchased so many from her I think I have one two three four five six of these maybe that I've purchased from her um, they're definitely not like $20 but they are 110% like worth every penny like she hand does these herself like they're absolutely amazing I love these let me kind of I'll kind of go through like what these stones are a lot of stones I have are like repeats so like I have a lot of the same ones like I have a lot of these blue colored ones I have quite a few of the um, green ones these like brownish reddish ones I don't know if you can kind of see that um, and a lot of the like white ones so I have this one here I want to say it's a type of quartz I'm not 100% sure. I think it's a type of quartz. I couldn't tell you if it's like an agate quartz or like what. Um, but, oh shoot, this one has like, literally the crystals are like coming out of it. <laughs> you guys can like, can you hear that? They're like in there. But like this is like a smaller version of like this one. So I have this big one. And this one I bought at like a little, um, there, if you live in San Francisco, there is a place on hate where it's like all like crystals, like a bunch. There's usually what right now during COVID, there's always a line outside like waiting to get in. But she has the best crystals, like she has so much variety. You can get like the smallest little crystals, you can get them in necklaces, or you can get like huge, huge pieces of like crystals that you can have in your house. Um, so yeah, these are definitely on the price here. I think this was probably like around a hundred dollars when I got this one um, But yeah, these ones I think are like a type of um, What did I say it was? Cellite? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Quartz. A type of quartz <laughs> Anyways, so those are pretty similar. This next one here I think is a rose quartz, a type of rose quartz what kind I'm not sure um, and then this one's kind of green I think that's a type of citrine I'm gonna say because this one down here I think is a malachite this darker green and then this is a piece of the same thing so a piece of the quartz just repeated again and then this one down here I think is a probably also either a type of quartz or a type of rose quartz I don't know. Also, sorry, I'm like holding my phone because this is where I have everything written down. Um, and then this one's kind of blue. I think that's kind of a sol soldanite. Soldanite? I don't know. You know what? <laughs> she's on here and she's watching my video. Girl, you need to tell me what these are again because I forgot. <laughs> um, and then I think at the very, very bottom is another piece of like the same quartz. Um, I'm pretty sure this was like the love one. I absolutely love this one and then this one this blue one I think is a blue lace agate and I think this is probably about the same or more of a blue blue calcite I think this one is for sure just like a white quartz and then this one at the bottom I'm not entirely sure I want to say it's a an agate <laughs> like a bra a brownish one that's agate um, but yeah this one's another one I absolutely love it I don't remember which one this one is she's gonna have to tell me down in the comments <laughs> um, but yeah those are two and then I have this one is I believe this is a type of amethyst if not a type of blue it's pretty purple though so I feel like it's an, a type of an amethyst this one's another one that I got at that little um, crystal store on the hate I need to figure out what the name of it is if I find it I'll pop it up somewhere here um, but yeah I bought this one there as well they're so nice they're like also nice and hefty like you can use them as like book ends like to hold up your books I'm just saying they're not bad uh, and then I have another one. This one's a blue agate of some kind. I know they have like more specific names, so this is close it gets girl. <laughs> but this one's also pretty nice and heavy. I got it the same little store on the hate. Um, and a lot of these like same crystals, by the way, are also sold by Macrame Minerals, but she like ships them out to you, so 
I think that's always pretty nice because you don't have to go searching for what you want. She can kind of have what you are looking for, which is amazing. And then I have this quartz. Uh, when I got it, it was a full heart. And then, like, literally the second I put it down when we got it back, it broke in half. I don't know if that's a sign. I hope not. <laughs> but I love this one. It's a little heart. It's so cute. Um, and then I have another quartz here. This one's just like a... A little like I don't know what you would call this what do you call this like a pyramid it's not a pyramid it's something else I don't know what it is but this one's also really nice I think I just got this at like a bookstore one day they had it it's nice it's cute I like it I like it um, and then we have this one I think this is a type of a black quartz if not a fluorite I have not the slightest clue what this one is. It's kind of gold, like a little bit gold, kind of brown. No clue what this one is, but I do really like this one. Thought it was really nice, a bit of nice. And then I have a few of these like amethyst ones. I'm not sure if this would be like a type of amethyst fluorite because it has this marbling in it. But I know for sure I got this at a little crystal shop in Joshua Tree. Um, it's like on that, if you've been to Joshua Tree, you know that there's like this one main road there. It's off of that little main road. That's where I got this one and it's that same little like kind of weird pyramid-y shape. Um, but I really like them. They're really nice to like actually stand up and you can like see them in your house versus like the rocks are a little bit harder because they kind of just sit um, and you have to like make them look nice I guess you could say. Um, anyways and then I have a few more of these like amethyst ones. If you guys didn't know I am a February baby. I'm an Aquarius so this is my birthstone. Um, so yeah I have a lot of um, the amethyst around the house and they're all like different amethyst ones so I know they have like different meanings they do a little bit different or give you a different vibe <laughs> um, for each one I just like I said I don't know where you're supposed to find like how to figure out what crystal it is again I know like some places will like write it down for you but like I lose those little pieces of paper so fast <laughs> like I've even like kept like the little piece of paper somewhere but like trying to like match it back up again to like which color and which one it is impossible for me so I'm sorry but these are really cute really cool I have like I said a few different ones and then I have some rose quartz I've got this one this one's more like shiny like pebble <laughs> kind of feel and then I have this one is a lot more clear but it is it has a tint of pink so it's some kind of a rose quartz as well and this one I for sure got uh, when I was in Joshua Tree as well yeah and then I have a few of these like varying yellow <laughs> color ones um, but this one I want to say this is a type of orange calcite if not a type of moonstone but it's like all like sparkly I don't know if the camera is picking this up at all girl is it maybe <laughs> sorry but it's got like it's kind of like sparkly on top and like all spiky and then the bottom is just like rock like rock so this is definitely like what's inside the stone but it's so pretty it just like caught my eye one day I was like yes I need this in my life and if you don't know yellow is one of my favorite colors so I was definitely attracted to this one when I saw this um, and then I have a few I'm, I told you I got a lot of the yellow ones but I have two these are like a type of I want to say they're a citrine like type of citrine this one in person this one is a lot more yellow than this one this one's basically white at this point um but i really love these and they're two separate ones i got them at two different stores two different times i'm not sure when and where but um yeah i got them at different times and then i have a few others this one is for sure an orange calcite um, and it's really nice. This has like a smoother texture to it. It's not polished, but it's a lot smoother than my other ones. And then this one's a piece of probably one of these, TBH. My cat will sometimes like 
like hit them off of the top of a desk and then they break so it's okay though like it's literally just a crystal like if anything it's kind of nice because you could like walk around with this like throwing your purse throwing your backpack or go to an event even like I like doing that I like wearing my crystals to events I, I like it it brings me it elevates my vibe okay I'm somebody who believes in crystals so if you don't believe in crystals girl Keep your opinions to yourself. Thank you. <laughs> um, anyways, and then I have another like smaller one. I want to say this is also a type of uh, citrine, a little bit darker than the previous ones. This blue one, like I said, I have a lot of the blue ones. I'm pretty sure this is a blue lace agate. It's so, so pretty. Now I have a few different green ones and I could not tell you what the heck this one is, but this one's similar to that yellow one where it's kind of got a little bit of a sparkle to it. And it's real, this one's really rough, but like the whole way around. So the stone part, like it was like taken from the inside. Um, and I really love this one. I believe this had something to do with money at the time when I got it, but I don't know if this is, it's not an emerald. I don't know if it's an Avertine. I'm really not sure. But this one's amazing. Again, if you know what these are, please tell me in the comments because I would like to know. <laughs> um, and then I have this one. This one's got like some white marbling in it. I thought it was just so cool. And I want to say this is a type of fluorite, if not emerald as well. Just like a different type. But this one's really pretty. And then I have a green citrine, just like a really nice clear one. I really love this one. A rose, this is called a, a desert rose. I really love this one. And I have this one, it's also in this one back here. Um, it's like a whiter version of it though. This one's kind of like an orange one. And it looks like a tiny little rose. Like I can't get this camera to like focus to save my life, but you can see it has like a little bit of like, it looks like the rosebud it's really pretty and then I have this one I know that this is like a basically like a root chakra I don't know if it's a ronite or not I don't know I'm not sure but this one's like your root chakra of like the sh all of them like your grounding like base one this one like sits like at my desk right at, at the where my desktop is like I have it sitting right where like the power button is in the middle and it's always sitting on my desk it's really nice I really love this one um, you know, keep me, keep me grounded, keep me sane, you know, especially when I'm working because a girl has a stressful ass job. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I have this one. I want to say it's a black onyxy, O-N-Y-X. I don't know how you say that, but this one's really pretty. It may also be a type of blue one. It might be a labradite though, because it's kind of blue. It might be a labradite and not a black one. Again, let me know in the comments, but I really like this one. It's a little heart again as well. This one did not break on me, so thank God for that. Um, and then I have these two smaller ones. Again, i no not sure what these are. I'm pretty sure this might be some type of rose quartz. I know that when I got this one, it was so dumb. I was so attracted to this one though when I was in the store. Like honestly, when you're at the crystal store, the crystals pick you. You don't really pick the crystals, okay? You walk around, you feel them out, you hold a few, and some of them talk to you, okay? Some of you guys are gonna think I'm a little bit crazy for saying this, but you know what? I don't care because I really do believe that like sometimes the crystals choose you um, and anyways I had gotten this one and it had said that it was like something about like love and like helping your relationship and like along those lines and at the time I was like sure let me like take that this little tiny rock this one's one that I got in Joshua Tree it was like $25 I don't know I don't know it was speaking to me I love it I really do like this one though too and I intend to put it into like some kind of a necklace at some point because it is really small but I really like this one to like actually take around with me and hold it you can even put like ones that are this small which is nice like under your pillow I haven't like done that very often but it does help it's like supposed to help with your dreams and like a lot of other stuff so definitely try that out if you want one like obviously you don't want to be sleeping on no 
rock. <laughs> like, I'm not going to put this under my pillow. But if you put something like this, like, you won't even feel it unless you have, like, a flat pillow. But, like, you, if you have a flat pillow, you have bigger problems. Um, but, yeah, this is, these are really nice. And then I have no idea what this one is, but it's another, like, root chakra one. I'm the worst at these videos, you guys. We'll find that later. I also have a few other ones that are kind of more decorative, but I have my Himalayan salt lamp. This one's really nice, and it does have like a little like thing underneath. I just put like a Halloween like battery one in there um, if I want to turn it on and it looks really nice. I'm not so sure like about putting a real flame in there. I would just put like a little battery one on the bottom, but yeah, I love this one. This one also sits at my desk every day. It's just so beautiful and like they're really, really heavy. I honestly think I got this at like Target. I'm sure they have some too there that are like $20. They're like not bad. Um, but yeah, I have that. And then I also have this one, which don't judge this one. This one I have not taken care of like as well as I should have. But there's also another stone that did not come with this that is literally stuck to these other stones because I don't know what happened you guys I don't know what happened but they're stuck together now they're gonna be like this forever but it's a little like yin and yang <laughs> and I got this one at this um, little uh, crystal store in the hate but they're a little yin, yin and yang and they have little like where you could put like little tea lights in them I don't think I ever actually have put any like candles in them um, but definitely don't put the ones that don't have like a little like tin in it because I think that'll ruin like the actual stone but I'm pretty sure this is a Himalayan salt and a quartz and then this is also a Himalayan salt and I'm telling you guys like this is their forever Oh, <gasps> this is the forever. Oh, <gasps> wow, I've never been able to do that. <laughs> okay, well, they were forever like stuck together, so what the hell? <laughs> you know, like it's not even like a full circle anymore. I don't know what happened to this one, it's started to decay, I guess. I don't have a better word for it, but, anyways. I thought this was super cute, little yin and yang for, um, to have around the house with, like, decoration. And then I have this one, which I have no clue what this is, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. But this one's really pretty. I, again, like, a lot of this is, like, decoration for me. Like, it's just, like, around the house. Um, and this one is actually one that my boyfriend got me, uh, for my 25th birthday, I want to say. Um, and it is your, like, chakra one. And there's a little agate one at the very top with a little spirally cord. I don't know if you can see it, but you can get this off of Amazon. Um, if I can find the link, I'll link it down below. But I basically had this to, like, have on my desk when it, we were in the office. And I freaking love it. Keep you nice and grounded, you know? Um, and then with that too, we have one of the macrame ones that she made for us and it's a full chakra, like top to bottom, same as this with like this, the colors of the stones and it's gorgeous. It's super long. I really love it. It's hanging from one of our hanging plants in the living room. So I'll put in a picture here, um, of what that looks like. And then I also last, but definitely not least, I have this little, I got this one at Joshua Tree as well, that same little rock store, but it's this super cute little, um, crystal like chain I think you can like connect this to something else or you can just hold it like this I really like this like if I'm at an event and I just like want to hold something I really like it I kind of like play with the like the little metal <laughs> part and like hold it in my hand and it feels really nice I couldn't tell you what it does but it's a little chakra one it's got little um, tiny colors of each chakra in there as well um, but I really love this and this just sits at my desk now um, but yeah I think that's everything and then yeah I have the chakra one in the living room and then we have this like smaller one that's hanging in here and I think that's it. That is my entire crystal collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it wasn't like super informational. Again, I don't know what every single one of these is. Like I'm not 
a crystal expert. I just know what I like, what I need, what I love to have in my house. And like, honestly, like a lot of this, like I said, is decoration. Like I just really love how they look around the house, especially with all of our plants. Like it's gorgeous. So let me know if you like this type of video, if you want to see other videos like this. Um, maybe next time I show you guys all of our plants. Let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see a plant video next. All of my like plant collection, plant tour, I don't know. Work in progress, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, leave me a comment down below if you know any of the names of any of the crystals mentioned. And definitely, definitely go and show my girl some love macrame minerals on Instagram and on Etsy. She has literally the most amazing crystals. She does amazing work. She's just one of the nicest people ever. Um, so definitely check her out. I will link her down below. Show her some love. Um, I'm pretty sure she also does like these little like... I know she did this for Valentine's Day like last year or maybe it was this year. But she did little love boxes where she like curates them. Oh, it's... You guys just need to go and check it out. Like she's got great stuff. Leave me a comment down below. Share this with a friend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.